Today we're going to look at the Fill One machine by Fillon Technologies. Mohawk makes three solvent blends and blank cans to match this machine. One is stains and glazes, the other is standard clear coatings, and the last one is for high solids coatings. The machine is powered by compressed air. For best results, the air compressor must apply 130 psi of continuous pressure. The connector is just a regular quick connect coupler. The cap is where all the magic happens. The small top disc attaches to the machine plunger and pushes the fluid stored in the cap reservoir into the aerosol can. The flange of the disc is up and the nipple is pointed down when the disc is put in place on the machine plunger. The disc is inserted into a round cutout on the machine plunger. Firmly press the disc onto the plunger. The slot you see here is what holds the metal cup in place while the plunger pushes the fluid into the aerosol. The metal cup slides onto the slot and completely to the back of the housing. Pushing it completely to the back aligns the plunger and cup perfectly. Let's see the plunger in action. I'll be using the stain and glaze blank with some stain for this demo. Remember this disc is what will push the liquid through the cup and into the aerosol can. Firmly place the disc onto the plunger, flange side up, nipple side down. In the bottom of the metal cup you see two half moons. This will match the two half moons on the bottom of the plastic cup. The moons will fit together to make sure the two cups are in the correct position. Remove the spray head from the aerosol. Grasp both the plastic and metal cups together. Seat the bottom of the metal cup on the aerosol opening. A slight twisting motion will make the connection easier to complete. The metal cup must sit firmly on the aerosol can. Pour the liquid into the reservoir cup, leaving a quarter inch from the top unfilled. This will be a total of three ounces of liquid. Place the reservoir and can into the filling machine by sliding the brim of the reservoir cup into the reservoir slot. Hold the reservoir cup in place and rotate the black base counterclockwise to snug the connection between the can and the cup. Do not over tighten, it only needs to be snug. Close the door for 10 seconds. This will inject approximately 3 ounces of product into the can. You don't hear the plunger going down anymore. You can open it back up. Hold it. I'll loosen the bottom. Ready to take out the can.
there's a color completely clean put the tip back on and your aerosol is filled With this machine, you can fill multiple cans with different colors without cleaning the machine between colors. And that's a wonderful thing.